everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. This is a rivalry game that always gets the blood pumping, both on the field and in the stands. One of the great division battles in the NFC. They've met once already this season. We'll see what kind of fireworks are in store for us here in Game 2. It's the Cowboys going up against the Giants. So with that, let's get right out to the stadium. Brandon Godden and Charles Davis have the call on this Week 4 matchup. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Today, it's Week 4, and we've got what should be a great one here between the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Ezekiel Elliott, and he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. The wide receivers, often a very, very talented group, and that's the case here. And they don't mind showcasing it either. Those guys love to be flashy, love to make big plays out in the open field. They will attempt to do so in this game. That's caught, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. It's a pickup of six, and good enough to move the chains. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. First down carry by Elliott. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And we look now at the defense for the Giants. Jason Pierre-Paul, so good to see him back on the field, resuming his place as one of the elite pass rushers in the league. Cook. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. A gain of four on the play. And that'll bring up a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He finds his target, Fuller. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did. And what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Will Fuller was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. to throw again and this time he's got the hookup it's complete 
The reception good for seven. It's third down. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. They'll look to throw again. Drops it underneath to Elliott. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They'll get a couple yards on that one. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. So it's our visitors who make the first dent in the scoreboard as they get three here on the initial drive of the ball game. Yeah, it's hard to say who actually won that opening drive. On the one hand, anytime you can come in as a road team and get an early lead, you're going to be thrilled. But at the same time, to have the ball as deep in enemy territory as they did and come away with only three, that's got to be a little bit of a disappointment. second and five the New York Giants offensively their starters and one guy out wide to take a look at Sterling Shepard a really mature man in every way coming out of Oklahoma personally and professionally you can play him out wide play him in the slot he can return punts for you he's a dynamic playmaker so it'll be first down here after the run whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. Well, we saw the practice film this week. They wanted to focus on these intermediate passing plays, and it paid off there. And they took that focus not just to the practice field, but in the film room to show the guys exactly what they wanted, what types of looks they should expect to get, and how they would beat those coverages each and every time. And it paid off on that play. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll make it third down. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and it's the Giants with the football here as we begin quarter number two. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. They're still in search of the first down after that last completion. He'll look to throw. Look at right sideline. That's complete. And they'll get 14 yards out of it and a fresh set of downs. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. to throw here on first down to the sideline and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in if you run an out route it's likely you end up near the sideline and what did we just see there the toe tap. you got it the benefits of practice toe tapping foot dragging picking it up and making sure it was a catch and now the offense operates in the red zone They'll run it now out of the gun. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and now they're faced with a third and one. 
So if I'm an offensive coordinator, there's one thing that I know for sure. This is one of the top five teams in the NFL against the run. So when I look at my playlist, I'm probably thinking about throwing it. They'll look to throw for it. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. And now that brings up fourth down there. A loss of six yards on the sack. So the Giants now are going to turn it over to their field goal unit. And this a 39-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So a little fortunate there because that one was definitely leaking right. Without a doubt. Maybe about the width of a football or so inside that right upright. But he got it to go. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This one taken from the seven. And it'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. They'll start the drive with Elliott. He can't bring him down. The weight room does work. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Throwing. Cook. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. Let's see if they can convert here on third and three. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Yeah, he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. Time to step aside. We're back to East Rutherford, but first this time out. And ready now for second and nine. Here we go. Blue From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Back to throw now on first down. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Here we go now. Green, 39. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw, and that is incomplete here. 
It's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they got a completion and the ball's almost there, and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. They'll come out in the pistol. They'll look to throw again. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find cell spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And Gronkowski's got it complete over the middle. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Second down now after the pass completion. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got Fuller. And down inside the 15 he goes. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. This is caught. Gronkowski. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Now Cook. This will be caught at about the six. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did. And obviously, they liked his measurables. Otherwise, they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and it's... Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And Bailey able to knock it through. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This will be fielded at the eight. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. The Giants' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Now 
Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. They give him 14 yards that time and a flash shut it down. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. shotgun he'll look to throw and this is Shepard on the catch and they'll bring him down at the 13 yard line we'll give him 10 yards on that one and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender yeah well there they ran into a first down executed it to perfection right, Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They're trying to establish that running game, but they're really, really having trouble, aren't they? Yeah, when you're running against a really good 4-3 defense, that means you've got big guys inside who control things. Those big defensive tackles are making it very difficult to find open space. And here comes play number six on this drive. throw now on second and ten he rifles one that's intercepted a great read and it's picked off and they get the football but not much on the return here as he stopped at the seven yard line a look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half and last time they got three points but it was a chip shot field goal and when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal maybe the offense not too happy it's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And he's going to be taken down here at about the 10. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one. And it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Throwing, Cook. And he fires one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they'll be at the 18-yard line. Great field position here in the red zone. And New York set to take the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, and now it's second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. 
But pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? And this is no good. Close, but he misses just left of the upright. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far. And they come away with nothing. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal try. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL... Well, that's, great. that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? Snap as they'll look to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. And we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Back now here at MetLife Stadium. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. here on first down. This will be caught just inside the 10. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there and they were able to successfully complete that one. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the G-Men have taken the lead here in the fourth. And he's got it as the lead is now 10-6. Uh-oh, flag comes out here. This is going to be roughing the kicker. When you're going back there on the kick block, and you've got to go to the right point. That didn't happen. Ran into the kicker. The penalty flag had to come out. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Let's go. 319. 319. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Every time I see a hitch pattern dropped, I go back to the combine because there's a drill that they use all the time that's called the gauntlet drill where a receiver catches the ball and just works his way straight down the line and catches it from different sides. And the problem with that drill is that you don't actually have to secure the catch. You just kind of catch it, drop it immediately, and keep moving. And sometimes that shows up on plays like this. Now Cook, they'll set up the screen to Elliott. He lost four there, and it's third down. Third down. 
that's still 14 yards left. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second guess just... They got his man complete! And all the way down to the 37. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he's got his man on the out route. Give him 13 on the pick up there. And it'll be a Dallas first down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. They'll set up to throw. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. Call it a gain of three, and that'll make it a second down. I'm going to show my age here a little bit. We used to talk about running backs catching the ball as safety valves. Nowadays, they're a big part of the passing offense. Quit acting like you're so old. You're only 65. <laughs> On second down, Elliott. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line lower than the defensive front. They moved them and found some good space for the guy carrying the ball. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. All right, Brandon, you know me as well as anyone. You know I don't usually advocate abandoning things during a game. But here we are in the second half. I think it's time to change things up. Let the running game go a little bit. Let's get to the passing game. And if you still want to get in the hands of the runner, maybe you swing it to him, throw it to him a little bit. Try it that way. Got to try it here. He's back. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Jason Pierre-Paul in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. The Giants' offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. If you love pressure, I love it. Let's we'll see if they dial it up this drive. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. On first down, they'll run it on the draw play. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things. But the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. Three, 
throw it. Cook. He's got Fuller. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. Shift together here from the D-line. Back to throw here. Pass incomplete. He was trying to get it to Ezekiel Elliott, and it's third and short. Three yards left to grab here on third down. to throw. It's complete to Grant. And they pick up the first down there with a gain of four. First down and ten now for the offensive group. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. The defensive oh, line disperses a little bit here, maybe expecting a pass. All right, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Watch him now, Barney. Barney. Over, over. Over, over. Now let's go. Boom, land. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Brought in over the middle by Grant. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll run it now out of the gun. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. They'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. All right, here we go. Boom, landing. Boom, landing. Five yards to go for the offense. First down and goal from that five-yard line. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. This will be play number eight on the drive. It's third and goal. Here we go now. Back to throw. That's caught at the three. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. 
back to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And New York set to take the field. Two timeouts remaining defensively, but that shouldn't make much difference right here. It really shouldn't, but a lot of coaches look at it similar to baseball with the intentional walk. Always bringing in other right? sports. Always, hey, listen, think about the intentional walk, right? What if one gets past the catcher? What if he uncorks a wild one and now you still have an opportunity? That's why they like to use them all the way through. All right, now, look at 56. Look at 56. Right, here we go. That one looks like he'll throw here. And a quick throw here. That's complete. A good pick up there. 26 yards. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets right, moving, he not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? Charles, the old saying, the old cliche, if you will, points at a premium. That certainly applied here, didn't it? And that almost felt like opened up a time capsule, didn't it? Old school football, low scoring, close game. What a way to finish it up. You loved it, didn't you? You I loved did. the defense. I certainly did. Brought back the images of the game of old. So for the Giants, it'll be a 500 start as the win gets them back to 2-2. Two and two. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the San Francisco 49ers. Meanwhile, for Dallas, they'll drop down to 1-3. and three. And fortunately for them, they'll have the early bye next week as they return to action in Week 6. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Giants are winners as we say so long from MetLife Stadium.